Hi friends, I'm here with the yoga offering. So I'm gonna get right into the sun salutation. So if you're not already warmed up, maybe pause this video and do a little warm up on your own or perhaps you've just gone for a run or it's later in the day and you don't need your warm up. So uh, as always, please go at your own pace, rest whenever you need to. Feel free to skip things or change things if they're not working for you today. So let's start standing right up at the front of the mat, coming into mountain pose. Feet can be together or apart. We'll bring hands together at the heart. And just take a moment to slow down your breath. Feel where you are right now. Take a full A-series sun salutation. Next inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop your feet back, coming through high push-up, lower down, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra, and back to down dog. And let's take five deep breaths in down dog or child's pose or any other neutral shape. Last breath here. Come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward. Inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Again, inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop your feet back, lower down, up dog or cobra, and back to down dog. This time from down dog, take your right leg up, reach it as high as you can, and then a big step forward, high lunge, inhale, arms up, settle in, sink low. To warrior three, we're going to shift forward and find balance. If you want to make this easier, you can keep your torso high and your leg low. If you do want to come further forward, just keep that back leg connected to the torso. So only bring the torso as low as the leg goes high. One more breath here. Step back. Warrior one. One breath. Release through a vinyasa or your movement transition. Feel what you are doing. From down dog, left leg sweeps up. Take it as high as you can. And then a big step forward, high lunge arms up. Look for an opening at the front of the right hip by lifting the belly, dropping the tail. One more breath here. Warrior three, shift forward, find your balance, and then come into the variation of this that feels right for you right now. You can customize each shape so it suits your needs. Last breath. Step back, warrior one. One big breath here. Release, make your way back to down dog and you might take a vinyasa or any other movement transition. And then settle into a good resting pose. Any neutral shape. Last breath here. Let's go 
Come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward. Inhaling, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Let's bend the knees and come into chair. Utkatasana, hips low, arms high. Drop the shoulders low, but head and fingers high. Last breath here. Release, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop your feet back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. Back to down dog. Right leg sweeps up, one breath. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three, one breath, come in. From here, rise up to standing. Bring your left knee to your chest. The right arm can be out to the side or at the hip. And either stay here or grab your big toe with the first two finger and thumb. You might extend that left leg part way or all the way straight, working with your body, exploring what your limits are, feeling, breathing deeply. Open the left leg out to the left, just at a slight angle, so still hips are square to the front, shoulders square to the front, whether you're holding your knee or big toe. And then bring it back to the front. We'll take opposite hand, the outside of the knee or the outside of the foot, come into a twist. Roll open through the left shoulder, maybe even look back. Last breath here. Release with the front hand, catch with the back hand, King Dancer, Natra Jasana. Last breath. Big step back, high lunge. Make your way back to down dog. You might take a few handstand swings. These are optional, everything's optional. If you wanna take a few swings, make sure your hands are flat. Swing the left leg up and down, getting a little air time for the right foot. You can do as many or few as you like. Eventually making your way to down dog. When you're ready, left leg sweeps up. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three, one breath. Rise up to standing. Bring your knee to your chest. Find your balance here. Left hand can be out or at the hip. You might stay holding the knee or grab the big toe, extending part way or all the way straight. Open out to the right, just at a slight angle. So still hips are square to the front, shoulders square to the front, straight long supporting leg, long spine. Now bring the right leg to the front. We're gonna take the left hand to the outside of the knee or the outside of the foot, setting up for a twist. Roll open through your right shoulder, maybe even looking back. Last breath here. Gaze forward, release with the front hand, catch with the back hand. King Dancer, Natra Jasana. Kick your foot into your hand using your powerful legs to help open up the chest. Last breath. Really step back. Catch your breath, high lunge. Hmm, optional handstand swings. So you can do as many or as few as you like. Just feel what you are choosing to do, whatever that is right now. Making your way 
back to down dog. And then into a good rest. Letting go of all of that. Come back through down dog. Come into a pigeon pose, right side. Slide the right knee forward, scoot back through the left leg. Help the hips get as low as they'll go. If you want to start with an upright position, you might open up the chest. You can use your hands wherever they're going to support you here on the floor, on your body, on blocks, or even up in the air. Folding when you're ready. You can use support if support is useful. Something under your hip, chest, or forehead. You could try blocks or cushions or blankets. What is there to let go of here? upper body back up. If you have something under your right hip, slide it out of your way so you can lean to the right. Swing the left leg around to the front. Lean to the left and then send the right leg back. And if that didn't get you into a good pigeon pose on the left side, find your way there. If you begin in an upright position on the first side, you can take that again, a similar variation, whatever you did. Folding whenever you're ready. Using what you feel to inform what you do. You might make little adjustments based on the real-time information your body is giving you. Body back up. If you have something under your left hip, slide it out of the way so you can lean to the left. Let's swing the right leg around to the front and come into Gomukhasana cow face pose. So we're going to stack the right leg on top of the left. You might scoot your ankles out to the side or further back towards your body, trying to get both sit bones grounded. If this is too tight, you could sit up on something or do this with the bottom leg straight. Now to get that right hip a little more grounded, we're going to bring the left elbow across, right hand into a fist, and press down, using that to twist towards the right. Ground down, especially through that right sit bone. Roll open through the right shoulder, lengthen the spine, breathing as deeply as you can. Keep the sit bones grounded, release upper body to the front. And let's take eagle arms, right elbow on top of left. Put some pressure between the elbows like you're trying to pull them apart, spreading the upper back. Feel the sit bones, whole torso long, wide open. Mm, release, interlace fingers behind your back. Open up the chest ah, and fold any amount. Maybe just dropping the head, might be folding over the legs. Some of you might reach your arms up and back away from you. Release, come up, lean back, unwind and switch. Left leg on top. You may want to adjust, scooching the ankles out to the side or back by your legs. If 
feel free to straighten the bottom leg or grab props. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Left hand into a fist, grounding down, rolling open. Keep the sit bones grounded, release upper body to the front, left elbow on top of right, eagle arms. Pressure between the elbows, spreading the rib cage, spreading the upper back, spreading the torso. Oh. Release, unwind, interlace behind the back, other thumb on top, open the heart, fold forward, any amount. Release, come up, unwind, little windshield wiper side to side. In a moment, we'll make our way onto our backs. If you want to take a vinyasa first, you're welcome to. If you're ready to just roll on back, go ahead and do that. Feel what you are doing, whatever that is. Knees to chest. Give a little circle or rock. And I'm going to wind things down with a back bend. If there's a different way you want to finish, you're welcome. If you're joining me, let's start with bridge. Feet hip width apart, parallel. Lift your hips. Interlace fingers behind your back. Shrug your shoulders underneath you. Stay as long or short as you like. Listen for what feels right right now. When the pose is complete, come down and rest. If you feel like coming up again, take any back bend, bridge, half wheel, full wheel, supported bridge, something else. Stay as long or short as you like. Each time the pose is done, come down and rest until you feel like coming up again. If you don't feel like coming up again, mm, you can just enjoy the rest and eventually move on to a counter stretch. Could be happy baby, something else, a forward fold, anything to release your back. And happy baby, you can grab the soles of the feet, press the knees towards the floor. Perhaps straighten the legs one at a time or together or move around in any other way. Check in with your body. What's still needed? What would be a good ending to this practice for you? You might finish with a twist, a restorative pose, an inversion, something else. A little self-massage. Take your time winding things down and eventually come into stillness. And get as comfortable as you can if you have extra layers you want to put on or props. Eventually settling into stillness, letting go fully.
And begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Move your wrists and ankles. And then take a big stretch out through your arms and legs. When you're ready, bring your knees in. Roll to one side. And then use your hands to help you up to sitting. And come into a comfortable cross leg position. And bring hands together at the heart. It's taking a moment to cultivate some gratitude for your practice, for your life. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today. Please reach out if you have questions about anything or requests for future offerings. Thank you for supporting what I'm doing by sharing it with others or letting me know it's useful for you. And financial contributions are always appreciated. Venmo, PayPal, Patreon. Have a great day.